when we graph an inequality, we have to look at the symbol to decide whether we should be representing the line on our graph with a dotted line or a solid line. In example one, y is less than x plus 3, I have made this table of values, and I'm going to graph it. The first point is 1, 4. That's right here. The second point is negative 3, 0. And the third point is 0, 3. All I have to do now is draw my line. I look at the symbol, and I see that it is less than. It is not less than or equal to. That means that the points in this table of values are not actually part of the answer. And the way we show that is by drawing a dotted line through those points. Draw your line all the way through the graph. Make it clear that it's dotted. And that shows that you know that these points are not part of the answer, that the points on the line are not part of the answer. In example two, I have y greater than or equal to 2x minus 2, and I've made this table of values for it. I'm going to graph that now. I have 0, negative 2, 2, 2, and 1, 0. I draw a line through these points. I check my symbol, and I see I have greater than or equal to. The fact that I have or equal to means that these points are part of the answer, and I express that on the graph by drawing a solid line through those points. It's a simple trick. When graphing an inequality, before you draw your line, pause, look at the symbol. If it has the little extra or equal to line underneath the symbol, it's a solid line. If it doesn't, it's a dotted line.